Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a grid which has content above the main media image and also content below the main media image that's always visible. So this is the grid that I've set up and I've customized a skin for this and as you can see we have uh, the post title, the post date, and then an excerpt below the media image. So I set up a special skin for this. And if we go to skins, selected skins, you can see I titled it My Custom Skin. And all I did was use uh, the Washington skin for this because really you can use and edit any skin to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through that process so you can see how I did it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, head over to the item skin editor. And for Washington, I'm going to duplicate the skin. That way we can still use the original Washington skin if we want to later. So head down to Pagination for the skins. And you'll see your duplicated skin here, item skin 1. So let's go ahead and edit that. And we can just rename it uh, My Awesome Skin. Uh, and I can't seem to spell awesome correctly. Okay. Alright, so I saved that. And let's head back to our grid. And settings and skins and let's go ahead and select that new skin that we just created my awesome skin and save the grid and you can see this is just a duplicated version of the Washington skin so let's go ahead and edit this so let's head to essential grid and edit skin. So let's just take a quick look at what our grid looks like now. And it's just the Washington. So let's set it up so we have content above and below this image here. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drag this title up to the top drop zone and in the layer settings let's head over to style spacing and you can see how this is kind of just a small rectangle if we change display from inline block to block it'll cover the entire area here uh, but it's still not all the way to the top so let's adjust the margin here to zero now it's all the way to the top. And let's also change the text align to left. And for our grid, we want to have it all the way to the left of the item. So let's adjust the padding. So this would be top, right, bottom, left. So let's change left to zero. So next thing we can do is head down to where we have our available layers and let's drag black thin capital up below the title and head over to source and let's change this from cat list to date and then in the style let's change display to block text align to left and now let's add our excerpt. So let's see, we'll go to texts. Uh, I think maybe black capital. Let's drop it down to the drop zone here. And spacing is block, text align left. And let's see, padding's top right bottom left. Okay. 
let's change this from title to excerpt and limit by words to 20. Okay, now we've got our elements added to the skin. Let's go ahead and customize the look a little bit. So for the title, head over to style, BG, let's change background alpha all the way to 100%. And back to style, let's change the font color to black. And let's bump up the text to 24. For the date, let's do the same thing. BG all the way to 100%. And in the style, let's change text transform to none. And I think that's a good font color. Let's just adjust the spacings here. So if we go title, spacing, paddings. This would be the top, so I think maybe maybe 20. Top right, bottom, left. For the date, let's see, top right, bottom. Let's do 20, uh, maybe 10. Okay, and you can see when I hovered over this, there was like a little black background. Let's just get rid of that hover. And so let's set up the excerpt colors now. So uh, BG, background alpha all the way up to 100. And oh, I was in the, the hover tab, so we want to make sure we're in the idle. Idle, BG, background alpha, 100. And for the style, let's give it text transform none. And font weight 400. And for spacing, let's say top. Uh, zero, bottom, zero. Okay, so next thing, we want to make sure that this content always shows up without a hover. So the way to do that is to first head over to Layout Composition, and in Animation, set the Group Animation to None. Then we can click our Elements, head over to Animation, uh, Transition, None, Always Visible. So let's repeat that for the other elements. Transition, None, Always Visible. And same thing for the excerpt. Always visible. So let's go ahead and save this and see what we've got. Okay, not bad. So you can see that we have our buttons here for the light box and the link. They're not exactly centered. So let's go ahead and fix that. We can get rid of these line breaks here. over to style, spacing. Let's try, I'm going to say maybe like 23 for margin top. Let's see how that looks. Much better. Okay, so the next thing you may notice is that the images may not be positioned or sized exactly the way you want them to be after setting this up. So let's look at how our image is positioned and sized. And if we scroll to, let's see, Media Wrapper, Entry Media, you can see that this bounding box here, that's actually our image. So not only is it sized to that, it's also positioned center inside the grid item. So there's some CSS adjustments we can make for this to not only uh, size the image better but also position it. So let's go ahead and make those adjustments. So in the item skin editor, C 
CSS editor, I already applied some custom CSS for the other skin. And this is it here. And it's all prefaced by this EG My Custom Skin wrapper. But this is going to be different for the skin we just set up. So for the skin we just set up, the class is going to be EG My Awesome Skin. I'm sorry, EG My Awesome Skin, right up here. So let's go ahead and copy that and replace my custom skin, which I had set up before, with our new skins class prefix name. And I'll go ahead and post this CSS uh, at the bottom of this FAQ so you can go ahead and just copy and paste it into your CSS editor. So just a few things about the CSS. What we're actually doing is we're going to move the image itself down from the top 63 pixels. So depending on your grid, you'll have to just kind of test it out and see how that looks and then go ahead and adjust this number 63 here uh, depending on what really works best for your grid. So let's go ahead and save the changes here. Make sure we've saved our skin and let's take a look at what we've got now. So you can see here uh, our images are looking a little bit better. They're aligned from the top left and let's check their sizes as well. Okay media wrapper. Okay. So you can see that it's cropped and sized much better than it was before. Okay. So that's how you can set up uh, content that's not only always visible, but also content that's both above and below the main media item. So thanks for watching.